So right now I'm going to continue on going with these mix unit word problems. So I'm going to end up doing number 23. So the recipe for pineapple upside down cake, it calls for 5 pounds and 14 ounces of pineapple slices. The 1090 calls for 200 portions of pineapple upside down cake. How many pounds and or ounces of pineapple slices do you need for pineapple upside down cake? So first things first is we're trying to convert this mixed unit into a single unit. So we got 5 pounds and 14 ounces. So we're trying to convert these ounces into pounds. So right now we're here, ounces. So whenever we're going back up, we have to divide. So we have to divide this 14 ounces by 16 ounces in order to convert it into pounds. So 14 divided by 16, so that equals 0.88. The reason for that is because we had to round up. So we're rounding to the hundredths place. So if this third number is five or above, we round up. If it's four or below, we round down. So that's why I had to round it up. So right now I got 0.88 pounds. So now that we got it to the same unit, we just add these two together, and now you have 5.88 pounds. So that's your first step to this problem. So the next thing we're gonna do is figure out what our working factor is. So we said it was 5.88 pounds. So now we've got to figure out what our working factor is. So it says the 1090 calls for 200 portions of pineapple upside down cake. So that's going to be our portions to prepare the 200. So to find our working factor, we have to divide our portions to prepare, which is 200. We divide it by 100 in order to get our working factor. So in this case, of course, it's just going to be two so two is our working factor so after we find our working factor we have to multiply it by the ingredient so in this case it's the 5.88 pounds of the pineapple slices so we multiply it by your two your working factor so 5.88 times two equals 11 point seven six pounds so that is not your final answer because you still got that decimal we're trying to get it to its lowest unit so right now we're at pounds and we're trying to get it into ounces so we have to go back down again so now where we're going back down we have to multiply so to convert this into ounces, we have to multiply it by 16 ounces. So again, you're always going to block off your whole number. And multiply the remainder by the unit below it, which is in this case 16 ounces. So we have to multiply 0.76 times 16 ounces. And don't forget to label everything. So 0 0.76 times 16 equals 12.16 ounces. So again, we're gonna block off our whole number and we're always trying to get it to its lowest unit. So again, since we're at its lowest unit ounces, we, always, we have to go to our decimal to fraction chart which is right here to determine where this 0.16 falls in between. So 0.16 falls in between these two. So it ends up being one fourth. So 0.16 ounces is one 
fourth ounce. So now we get all our numbers together. Our final answer is 11 pounds and 12 and one fourth, one fourth ounce. So that is your final answer for this. So you need 11 pounds and 12 and one fourth ounce of the pineapple slices in order to make your 200 portions of the pineapple upside down cake.